People usually use Grasshopper to penalize these sort of double curved surfaces, but uh, when it comes to the uh, their uh, actual construction and assembly, a lot of questions occur. Let's say uh eventually we are going to feed these uh, panels to a cnc machine or a laser cutter to then later assemble them and uh, a lot of times people use very thin materials let's say uh, hard uh, cardboards or maybe very thin uh, metal sheets just to avoid their thickness uh, thickness of those panels and make sure that they can be properly uh, attached together through these uh, through any uh, adjacent leaves but uh, a lot of times uh, you are going to build this uh, type of paneling model panelized models with uh, certain materials that have uh, considerable thickness, uh, say an inch or more. So this brings a lot of issues here. You need to know the how much uh, angle each uh, edge should have to cut off materials, and you also going to need to know how much of extra uh, material you need to use to cut, then to have the proper uh, triangle here or maybe even a rectangle or uh, if they are some so uh, the steps here are uh, the first steps are very basic you just take these panels and orient them to the floor uh, but then comes the tricky part and then you can easily enumerate them those real model uh, panels and then replicate the numbering here to uh, to find each panel here on the floor but then comes the tricky part so on the model there is one edge between this let's say panel number one and number ten but when those get oriented on the floor this edge gets doubled so then there comes an issue of data, ma data mapping of those angles and uh, then you need to properly enumerate those edges as well in order to uh, let's say find the neighbor edges for example this on number one we see that this is the edge number one with a length of 70 millimeters and the edge to be cut off is 71 uh, angle is 71 degrees and if we go to the number 10 panel there is also one Mm, edge with number one that is again 70 millimeters and again the same uh, angle to be cut uh, also as uh, you can see uh, if you cut it it also takes into account the direction of the angle cut here for, for example if it's written with minus that means it's, it's a concave uh, part so it's a valley part so the cut must be done in the other direction and also due to these angular cuts you're going to have some excessive material so here this dashed line shows that you this is the the, the solid line indicates the final dimension of the panel but the, with the dashed line you can see that this is the extra material that you need to consider when cutting it with CNC or a laser cutter to then when you cut with the 72 degrees you f can finally have this, uh, uh, this edge here uh, so uh, doing this all things with uh, playing grasshopper is a bit tricky so several Python coding components are used here for proper data mapping and also to for the string operations over here to map to write these things down here so uh, and uh, eventually when you have this algorithm you can use it to sort of give the layout for fabrication of any sort of uh, 
meshes and uh, forms created of panels they can be even uh, like closed shapes or that even contain uh, not triangular but uh, rectangular uh, panels as well so here as you can see it's uh, quite well generated automatically as well so here is it the project for uh, paneling and as you can see this algorithms this algorithm gives these extra edges only to those sides that have the positive uh, cutting angle let's say on this side we have minus 73 that means that uh, this edge is the outer one and when you cut it with this angle the outer surface edge is going to end up somewhere over here so it's not considered you don't need to have to use extra material but in this case you are going to need some extra material to cut this off and to to end up with this final uh, surface and uh, as you uh, change the thickness you can see that those lines uh, move accordingly to accommodate all the material need that you need to have for the final shape.